Hey you guys, this is Michelle Goldstein and you're at Heart Alchemy Yoga on YouTube. Please subscribe to Heart Alchemy Yoga if you haven't already. Please like, share, and comment on the videos. We love hearing from you. You can find us on Instagram and you can find us on Facebook. This video today is sponsored by Odor Cleanse. Odor Cleanse, their sport laundry additive, is formulated especially for sweat and body odor, which makes it great for workout clothes. It's eco-friendly, and this stuff totally works. We tried it on a load of laundry here that smelled a little funky, and it totally took the stink out and left the clothing just smelling like nothing, which is good because we're not perfumey type people. So you can get a discount code. It's in the description on the video and hit their site to order it. So let's get started with our practice today. Today I am teaching a class called Strong Core Open Heart. And this is based on really um, where my practice has kind of been at. The last couple weeks I've been into mandala style flow myself personally. And this is kind of part mandala. It's a hybrid <laughs> um, with lots of core work. Or not lots, I don't love doing too much, but a little bit, and heart openers. Let's lie on the back, on your back to start out. Bend the knees, knees and feet, a little wider than hips width apart. Take the hands, interlace them behind the back of your head, like you're just hanging out in the park, watching the clouds float through the sky. Bring some awareness to your breath. And allow your breath to deepen both in and out through your nose. Good. Okay, now you'll bring the elbows in toward each other. And still breathing, lift the feet up off the floor and we'll start with some slow motion bicycles. So you'll take an inhale here. And as you exhale, bring your right shoulder toward your left knee and straighten your right leg toward the floor. Good, inhale to center, knees hug in a little. Exhale, left elbow to right knee. Good. Inhale to center. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, center. And exhale up and over. Again, inhale to center. See if you can keep your shoulders off the floor. Exhale to the other side. Good. Inhale, center. Exhale, right Elbow to left knee, inhale, center, exhale, rotate, inhale, center, and exhale, go for it. Good. Again, inhale to center, exhale, good. Inhale, center, and lower everything down to the ground. Release your arms. Good. Now you'll lift the legs up and take your hands and slide them palms down either next to your hips or if your low back bugs you at all under your bottom for support. And you can try it. To see, you can start like this and always slide the hands out if it's too easy for you. Now feel the rib cage sink toward the ground and there's nothing wrong with easy by the way <laughs> inhale lower both legs feel the rib cage sink and then just as you start to feel the low back lift lift the legs back up simple leg lifts inhale lower the legs and exhale lift them inhale lower spread the toes and exhale lift Good, let's keep going, inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Three more, simple, inhale, lower, exhale, legs up. Inhale, lower, 
exhale, lift. One more time. Inhale, lower. Exhale, legs up and bend the knees, feet on the ground, hands again behind the back of your head, elbows hug in toward each other, lift the feet up. And then on an inhale, you'll roll the chest up toward your knees and exhale, lower down. Good, take an inhale here, exhale, curl in. Good, again, inhale, lower, exhale, up. Good, three more, inhale, lower, exhale. Good, again, inhale, lower, exhale, up. One more. Good. <clears throat> Everything down on the ground. It's hard to talk in some of these. <sighs> but it's good. Just breathe. That's all you've got to do. Okay. Let's flip all the way over onto our belly. Hands, palms down by the ribs. Release the toes. Hug the elbows in. And we'll actually start out with a few cobras. So on an inhale, press your chest up. Exhale, lower down. Good. Work the tops of your feet down. Inhale, chest up, elbows in. Exhale, lower down. And just one more time. Inhale to cobra pose. Exhale, back to child's pose. Tuck the toes under and lift the hips up. Press back, downward facing dog. Deep breath, feel your core engage through the whole practice. The whole practice at its, at its best, or at least the standing work, is fully supported through the middle. Good. Inhale to plank and exhale chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Feel the front body stretch and open. Exhale, downward facing dog pose. Good, bring your feet to the front of your mat, please. Align your feet, lengthen the spine, inhale. Fold forward on the exhale. Rise up to stand up on the inhale and palms together at the heart on the exhale. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Now as you exhale, step the left foot straight back behind you. Take both arms up for a low lunge as we begin to warm up. Feel the low belly lift, shoulders soft, heart lifts as well. One more breath here. Release the hands down to the ground. If the back toes, tuck them. If they're not tucked already, lift the left knee, straighten the right leg, and turn the right foot in so that you're in a wide leg forward fold. And let's interlace the fingers behind the back. Stretch the arms up and overhead. <laughs> Release your neck. And lift the kneecaps so the quadriceps engage. And rise up and turn your left foot out. Come to warrior two pose. Sink into the left hip a little and feel the inner legs hug together. Good. And just another breath in here. Exhale the hands down, step back to plank position, lower down chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful. And we'll step the right foot through to the front of the mat. 
And now on the back toes, come up to crescent pose. Lift the low belly, soften the shoulders, breathe. All right, palms meet at the heart, and we'll step up to tree at the top of the mat. You can assist your left foot up to the right thigh if that's helpful. And today, let's interlace all of the fingers except for the pointer finger and take the arms up for Kali Mudra. <clears throat> Draw the shoulder blades down the back and gently hug your forearms in toward your head. Very nice. We'll step back to warrior two gracefully. And straighten the right leg, turn the right foot in. Left foot turns back to the front of your mat. Bend the left knee to warrior two pose. And take a reverse warrior inhale. Exhale, release the hands down, step to plank and lower. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Very nice. Push the floor away from you. And on an inhale, lift the heels up. And as you exhale, walk or hop the feet to the front of your mat. Lengthen, inhale, fold, exhale, rise up to stand up, use your core, arms reach, exhale, palms meet at the heart, inhale, reach up, exhale, fold in, inhale, lengthen, and as you exhale, right foot steps straight back behind you. Lower that right knee to the mat. Take the arms up for a low lunge. I do like to warm up with the low lunge. It's one of my favorites. It's a great way to warm up psoas and quadriceps. And it's, it's got a nice feel to it, this pose. It's a bit like just, it's dynamic. Enjoy that. One more inhale. Exhale, fingertips down. Tuck the back toes. Lift that right knee. Straighten the legs. Spin the left foot in so the feet come parallel. You bend into a wide leg forward fold. If it feels good, interlace the fingers behind your back. Stretch the arms overhead. And come up to stand. Turn the right foot out to the back of the mat. Bend the right knee, warrior two. And do feel these inner legs hug together. The legs hug together. It's not just the inner. It's you, we really initiate this particular movement from the outer leg. Feel the legs hug in. Spread the toes. Intentionally stamp the feet down. Good, and release the hands to your mat. Step to plank and lower. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Nice, step the left foot through to the front of your mat. Come up to crescent pose. Feel the inner legs in this position hug together. From this position, we initiate that movement from the inner leg. And palms connect at the heart. Step up to tree pose at the new front of your mat. And let's again interlace all the fingers, but the pointer fingers, arms up. 
<clears throat> arms hug gently in toward your head. Forearms hug toward each other as well. Soften your jaw. Good, and step back to warrior two pose. And then straighten the legs, spin to the front of your mat, bend the right knee, right foot turns out. Reverse warrior, inhale. Exhale, release to plank. Step back and lower down. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down dog. Good. When you're ready, bring your feet to the front of your mat. We'll do a few rounds of Surya B and then move back into the mandala. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Utkatasana, chair pose, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Lengthen, inhale. Exhale to chaturanga, make your way back. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Right foot steps through, back heel to the ground. Come up, warrior one pose, inhale. Exhale, release to plank and lower to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, back to down dog. Left foot steps through, back heel flat. Warrior one, inhale. And exhale, release, and lower down. Use your core. Inhale, up dog, especially in this transition. You can feel it. Belly in and back to down dog. So all of this flow will strengthen your core, but you've got to engage it. So the more you dial into which muscles you're using and become aware of that and intentionally engage in order to transition and move through or from your center, the more you'll strengthen it and the more stable you'll become. Again, bring your feet to the front of your mat. Lengthen, inhale. Fold, exhale. Chair pose, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Lengthen, inhale. Exhale to chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Right foot steps through, back heel flat. Come up, warrior one, inhale. Exhale, release and lower down. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down dog, left side, step through. Come up, warrior one, inhale, and exhale, let it go, chaturanga. Inhale, feel the heart open. Exhale, down dog. So the, the heart openers, I know some people sometimes wanna argue that it's more about opening the rib cage and improving your posture, and it really has nothing to do with the heart. And I can tell you that I really disagree. It has to do with all the posture and physical stuff that's happening, but inside the rib cage lies your heart. Bring your feet to the front of your mat, please. And every tradition in the entire world, every culture, exhale, fold, recognizes the heart center as the the heart space is the love space, where the place where love is cultivated and generated. Bend the knees to chair, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Lengthen, inhale. Exhale to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step the right foot through, back heel flat. Warrior one, inhale. Exhale, release and lower down. Inhale up, exhale back. Left side, step through. Warrior one, inhale. 
Exhale, release, and lower. Inhale up. Exhale back, deep breath. And so we'll do some extra upper back work today to create some opening. And we'll integrate some more core as we flow as well. Okay, one more round as you're ready for good luck. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, Utkatasana. Inhale, fold forward, exhale. Lengthen, inhale. Exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog, right side. Step through, come up, warrior one. Release to plank and lower down. Inhale up, exhale, down dog. Left side, step through, warrior one, inhale. Exhale, vinyasa. <clears throat> Beautiful. So from here, lift your right leg mindfully. Inhale. And as you exhale, bring your right knee into your chest. Shift to plank. Good. Inhale back to dog. Lift the right leg. Exhale, right knee hugs to the chest. One more time, lift. Exhale, right knee hugs in. Set the right foot down at the front of your mat, back heel to the ground. Warrior one pose, come up. And warrior two will open up. <sighs> Hopefully you're starting to get warm, I certainly am. And today in warrior two pose, we'll take the eagle wrap, left arm under the right. One of the best upper back openers is this particular arm variation. Feel the arms plug into the shoulder sockets and sink the shoulder sockets down. And then lift the elbows a little bit. Good, and then straighten the right leg. Release the arms out to your side. Lengthen forward through the right side body. And then left hand behind the back, catch your right thigh. Half bound, triangle pose. So we are going to work into some wraps and things today with the arms. If it's not appropriate for your body, please skip. I mean, you can always try it out, and if it feels precarious, that's a good sign to back off. But if it, your body gives the okay, then why not try it? It's fun to take it to new places when there's an opening to them. Okay, so from here, we'll step into half bound, half moon. Grab a block if it helps you. Flex the left foot, and then release the left arm up. Good, and from here, bend the left knee. Catch the left foot with the left hand if you can. Spread the toes and gently kick left foot straight back. So we want the left knee to be hips level, not higher. Resist the urge to lift the left knee and dump into your low back. Instead, get the left knee level to the left hip and feel the quad stretch. Good, and release the left foot. Step back to warrior two pose and straighten the right leg. Parallel the feet, arms reach up, inhale, and then fold forward on the exhale. If it feels okay, you can grab your heels with your hands. Lift the shoulders away from the ears. Relax your neck. Good. 
good, and come on up to stand now. Turn the left foot out to the back, the new front of your mat. Again, warrior two pose. Lift the low belly, take a reverse warrior gracefully, and take a few breaths here to grab the side stretch. Maybe even bend that left elbow and grab the back of your neck or the back of your head with the left hand. Feel the side stretch, maybe gaze upward a little bit, and then hands down to the mat. Step to plank, bring the feet together, roll to the outer edge of the right foot, reach the left arm up. And push the floor away from you. Good. And now you'll take your left foot and put it on the floor right behind your right foot. Good. And then you'll come back to a plank. The ankles will be crossed here. Okay, take an inhale, shift forward, and lower halfway down. And as you exhale, press back up. Good. Back to down dog, lift that left leg up. And then check it out from here. Set your right knee on the mat. Set your right knee on the mat. Lift the right foot up off the floor. So you can even start to touch the right foot to the left thigh. And then bend the elbows, lower the chest and the chin for Ardha Shalabhasana. Spread the toes. And feel the elbows hug in, shoulders draw away from the ears. Good, transition to cobra from here. Stretch the legs straight, press the chest up, inhale. Now as you exhale, bend the knees, back to child's pose with the toes tucked, and downward facing dog. Beautiful, right foot steps up to the front of your mat, come up to crescent pose. Okay, so this is a fun one that is very challenging for me to talk in. We won't hold it for long, bring the palms together at your heart, but try it, it's such a good core strengthener, strengthener and also psoas. You're going to step up to the front of your mat, lift the left knee in front of you. Now stretch the left leg straight. Just a few breaths here. Lift up into what you feel, what you find, without leaning back too much. And then bend the left knee. Cross the left ankle over the right thigh. Half chair. Now do keep those core muscles still engaged. That's important, right? Like, it's not just in the obviously core strengthening exercises that we want to engage those abdominal muscles. Okay, now grab the outer edge of the left foot with the right hand. Start to bring the left knee pointing upward. Now, if you already know you can't straighten your, your legs into a, a twisting position from here, then grab the left knee with a bent knee. Otherwise, straighten that left leg, reach the left arm straight back behind you for Pavarita Utita Hasta Parahustasana is the name of this pose in Sanskrit. Good, explore the range of motion for another breath. Okay, we're going to come back to center, release the grip, and step back to warrior two pose. All right, and then from here, you'll straighten the right leg, bend the left knee for skandhasana. I know this is a bit of a wild flow for my um, style, but sometimes this is just what I've been doing lately, so I thought I'd share it. Okay, so from here, with the right foot flexed, and if you can't come all the way down, sit on a block, that could be helpful. And then maybe you take the left arm to the outside of your left knee, along the inner left knee, but toward the outside. Okay, right arm up. And stage two, wrap the pose. Feel the shoulder stretch.
Good, release the arms and come back to center. Parallel the feet, fold forward for a moment, let the head drop. Very nice, and then from here, come on up to stand. Turn your left foot out to warrior two, and reverse warrior again, inhale, and this time side angle pose on the exhale. And if it feels good, you can slide the left arm under the left leg and wrap the pose. If you do that, be mindful that you can get the rotation of your spine so you're not collapsing the chest down. If you're grunting and groaning to get the wrap, it's not worth it. Come into side angle. Good, and then both hands down to the ground. Come up on the back toes, step back, downward dog. And inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, open heart. Exhale, strong core, belly in, downward dog. All right, left foot steps through to the front of your mat. Come up, warrior one. And open to warrior two pose. Okay, in this warrior two pose, you'll wrap right arm under the left for eagle wrap. Okay, feel the outer legs hug together to support the weight of your body and your pelvis, the weight of your spine. Arms hug into the shoulder sockets. Shoulders sink down the back. Elbows lift. And release the arms. Straighten the left leg. Wrap right arm behind the back as you begin to reach forward. See if you can grab onto your left thigh. And then left hand down. You could also grab your pants or something. Just something to grab onto for leverage. Be mindful that that left hip hugs into center. Maybe turn the gaze upward. Breathe with gratitude for the opportunity to breathe. Good, now arm stays wrapped for half bound, half moon. Engage that right foot. And release the right arm up to the sky. And then we'll work toward Chapasana. Bend the right knee, catch the right foot with the right hand. And now kick the right foot straight back behind you. But just be mindful that the right knee stays level with the right hip. Good, release the right leg, and then step back to warrior two pose. Left leg straight, parallel the feet, arms reach up, inhale, and fold forward. Let the head drop on the exhale. Release your neck and take a moment to shrug the shoulders away from the ears and appreciate how it feels to be on your mat, in your body right now. And come on up to stand. Turn your right foot out. Bend the right knee, warrior two. Engage those legs, so the outer legs hug together for support, reverse warrior. And then you'll bend the right elbow if that feels okay to you and grab the nape of your neck or the back of your head with your right hand and feel the right elbow reach up to get the side stretch 
Turn your gaze up. Release. Hands all the way down to the mat. Come up on the back toes, step to plank. Roll to the outer left foot. Right arm reach up for side plank. Good, and then right foot comes to the ground behind the left. And then right hand down, pop up on those left toes so that you're in a plank with the ankles crossed. Shift forward, inhale, lower halfway down. Exhale, press up. Inhale, down dog, lift the right leg. And as you exhale, lower the left knee, lift the left foot up from here. And maybe you can prop your right thigh up on your left foot. Okay, from here, shift forward a little. Bend the elbows, lower your chest and your chin if that's a possibility. And then get some space around your neck. Elbows hug in. And then release the toes. Legs straight. Press into Cobra Pose. And back to Child's Pose. Tuck the toes under. Downward Facing Dog. All right, left foot steps up. Come to Crescent Pose on the back toes. Okay, the biggest challenge in this, in this particular position that we're moving into is to keep the back upright instead of leaning back. Challenge number two is to keep the corners of your mouth lifted. Okay, palms together in front of your heart. Step up, lift that right knee. Okay, and then from here, right leg straight. Deeply breathing, retract the shoulder heads. Good, and then right ankle cross over left thigh. Bend the left knee, flex the right foot. Core engaged. Okay. You'll grab the outer left foot with the right hand, the outer right foot with the left hand. Okay, bring that right knee to point upward so the hips come level. And if it helps you to transition that left hand to the right knee for the twist, that's a fair variation. You could also use a strap or straighten that right leg if that works for you and reach the right arm straight back behind you for the twist. Pavrita Utita Hasta Padostasana. Feel the rotation of your spine from the navel. So navel in, rotate into the upper back. Good, and then bend that left, that right knee Release the left hand, step back to warrior two, and then you'll straighten the legs, bend the right knee, come up onto the left heel, left toes lift. So we're in skandasana here, right knee bent, right hand slides along the inner right leg to the outside of your mat or in that direction, like you're reaching for the top edge of your yoga mat. Left arm reach up, and if it feels good, maybe wrap the pose. Not because it looks cool, but because it feels like you're getting something that your body wants, right? Just keep it in check. Like, always check your ego, <laughs> right? That's the real practice. Good, and then release the arms. Come back to center, parallel the feet. Fold forward. Never mind the poses. It's really each one is a vehicle to transcend the ego.
All right, come on up to stand. Right foot turns out to the front of your mat. Bend the right knee to warrior two. Reverse warrior, inhale. And side angle pose on the exhale. Now, if it feels good, you can wrap this one as well. Feel the right hip hug in so you're not sticking your butt out behind you. That's important. Good, and then release the hands down. Come up on the back toes, step to plank. Lower down to the ground. Bend your knees, catch your feet. Let's open the heart. Feel the expanse of your heart space, front, back, sides of the ribs. Good, and then release down. Good, press yourself up and come to sit with your legs straight in front of you. Walk the fleshy part of your bottom out so that you come forward on the sitting bones, flex the feet. Reach the arms up and either grab the outer feet, grab your legs, or grab a strap or a towel or something for leverage, Paschimottanasana. Breathing mindfully. And then roll yourself up to sit. Cross the legs so you're in a comfortable seat. And I taught this in my last class. I'm going to teach this very cooling breath, Sitali breath again. It's summertime here right now, so it's, uh, it's a really good practice to cool the body down. I've been doing it a lot. It's, this is the one where if you can curl your tongue, then do that. And if you cannot, then you can pucker your lips a little bit like you're sipping air. Inhale like that, and then as you exhale, like you're fogging up a mirror. And again, inhale, curl the tongue or sip. And exhale. One more time. Very nice. Let's come down onto your back. Hug the knees into the chest. And cross the left knee on top of the right for eagle legs. And then drop the knees over to the right side of your mat, left shoulder toward the ground. Beautiful, come back to center. Uncross the legs, cross them the other way. And drop the knees over to the other side.
Beautiful. Back to center. Uncross the legs. Bring the soles of your feet together. Knees drop open. And then make a triangle with your hands. The thumb and pointer finger touch. So you've got this triangle shape. And then bend the elbows and take that triangle up above your head. So you've got, um, it's actually a diamond, not a triangle. This is one of the things that happens with a lot of yoga, right? The brain turns to mush. So you've got a diamond between your hands, a diamond between your arms, and a diamond between your legs with the shape of your body. And now envision a fourth diamond in your heart. Okay, now take that, your hands in the diamond shape and put them over your belly, over your core. And feel your body rest. Feel your core muscles even soften here. We're learning to consciously engage and also to consciously relax. They are of equal importance. Good, and then from here, straighten the legs, release the arms, Shavasana. All right, give your arms and your legs a stretch as you're ready. Bend your knees and roll onto your side. And press yourself up to sit. Allow your eyes to close. Notice how you feel in your body. When looking at the way that our bodies are built, as well as the energetic body, the chakras, the lower three chakras, the root chakra, the sacral chakra, and the solar plexus, so the lower, the core, really, that's where the upper three, the heart, the throat, third eye, and then, of course, the crown, so the upper four, they all stack on top of the core. Strengthening the core <clears throat> 
is essential when walking around with an open heart. Right? So feel your stable, grounded core. Not gripped up, but stable and strong. And feel your heart open and expansive. And we can even move into the throat, into the third eye point, and into the crown. And now feel all of yourself stable, centered, open, and inspired. Bring your palms together in front of your heart. Lift your heart, bow your head. Namaste. Thank you so much, you guys, for practicing with me today. This is Michelle Goldstein. You're at Heart Alchemy Yoga on YouTube. Please subscribe to Heart Alchemy Yoga. Please continue to like, share, and comment on the videos. It's super helpful. We're very grateful for our Heart Alchemy community. You can also find us on Instagram. You can find us on Facebook. And you can sign up for our email list at heartalchemyyoga.com. Also, please remember to check out the discount code on Odor Cleanse. Their sport laundry formula is, is an additive that you put in your laundry, and it's formulated specifically to knock out body odors and sweat. It's great for workout clothes. So you can get a discount on that product, discount code in the description. Thank you so much.